videoing now? We are. So, Star, yeah. we are getting ready. We're eating breakfast. Mm -hmm. Preparing ourselves for our second ghost hunt of the year. And where are we going? I want to tell our viewers where we're going. We're going to Bisbee. Bisbee. And where are we staying in Bisbee? I'm not quite sure the name of it. Actually, you probably know it better than I did. <laughs> I've stayed there before. Apparently, it's on top of a creek. Uh, like a, a natural, natural spring or something. Right. Um, but as far as the name of the place, I don't know. But I have stayed there before. Um, with my family at one point. Okay. I didn't experience anything then, but I wasn't really looking. Right. So. Yep. So we're staying at the Inn at Castle Rock. So episode two of Pair Inspectors. All right, ghouls and gals, welcome to episode two of Pair Inspectors with Star DeLuna and myself. Um, we are excited. We're going to be going down to Bisbee today staying at the Inn at Castle Rock. Um, so this place was originally built over an old mine shaft and as they were digging they ran into a spring and it started to fill up the mine shaft. So they never filled it in but they built the hotel over it. So I don't know any of you guys uh, have been or those that pay attention to this kind of stuff, water is supposed to be a big conduit for spiritual activity. So I'm hoping this place is going to be popping. Um, it should be really exciting. Uh, we're bringing a new, a new ghost hunting tool. It's called the Spirit Box. Um, so we're hoping to capture some voices. Sheldon, my brother, is going to be joining us. So we have a guest star and our nie uh, my niece, Holly. And so she's going to be there. So it's going to be an interesting trip. So stay tuned. Geronimo room. You can see they have this beautiful porch where you can just kind of sit and lounge. And then right down the porch is this big canal type waterway. I'm sure, it gets pretty rushing in the middle of the summer with the monsoon storms. And here's Castle Rock itself. The spring that actually is connected to the mine goes about 180 feet this way. They said they sent divers down there and found an old boot and some other old mining equipment all underwater. It's pretty cool. Oh God, she could tell you more clearly what. What I was don't your remember. experience, I don't, don't want to do it on video. Why don't you want to do no it on video? What are you afraid of? Nothing. Tell the truth. Shame the devil. I'm afraid of that video ever surfacing. So you had an experience, but it was too jarring for you to remember, for you to share? I don't remember most of my own life. It shaked your world? I don't remember. I remember things I see. I don't remember, like, things I say. Plus, I haven't thought about that since Star brought it up, and now I remember. I woke up once and I... I think I was talking or something. I don't remember how it happened. You were talking to somebody? What was my story, Star? I woke up and it was like the corner of my room or some shit, right? When you were sleeping, you said, and then you heard somebody say something as a Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I very clearly heard someone say something. I don't even remember what it was. It's probably just but it was me. Right, it was from my, where my computer was in the corner. Oh, I remember that. Creepy. And then I, got, I went and got up. I, I, like, I heard it so clearly, I thought it was... Oh, there's a wasp right here. Um, I heard it so clearly, I thought it was Charlotte. I so I went out. out. It was before Holly was born. Was it a female's voice? From what you remember. from what you told me, I think it was. But you, then I, I went out like I, I but I heard it so clearly I thought it was Charlotte. Like mm -hmm. I didn't question that that's what it was. And I went out into the living room and it was dark. It was nighttime and Charlotte was in bed. Oh wow. That's interesting. 
And then I went on with my wife. There's nothing else. All right, so we're calling out to any spirits that are in the inn at Castle Rock. Uh, we'd like you to come and talk to us. If you could speak into this, um, speak loudly so that we can hear you. The more loudly you speak, the more we'll, more likely we'll be able to hear you in this device. If you could tell us your name, who you are, where you're from. Hello? You could touch one of us, move something, let us know that you're here. No. Hello? I heard something. Who's here? Is your name Robert? Hello? Is anybody in here? Can you come talk to us? Hello? Did you die here? Were you an old miner? Are you not even from here, but you just like being here? Were you even human? Show us who you are. What are you doing? What are you saying? I don't know. I heard something though. Who are you? Show us who you are. Can you show up on the film, on the video near me? Can you speak into this loudly? Can you touch Star on the cheek? <laughs> Hello? Did you hear that? There was a knock. I heard it. Did you hear that? You knocked again. From near the bathroom, it was soft. Can you knock again? Bisbee asks us to be brave. Here it is, our final morning at the Inn at Castle Rock. Uh, it was a fun weekend. It was nice to be able to spend time with Sheld and Holly and, and explore Bisbee, um, try some of their uh, delicious food and, and amazing hospitality. I think the people at Bisbee are some of the funnest, most creative, um, you know, typically progressive folks out there. So it's nice to be able to um, be among them, you know, for a couple of days. As for experiences, I really was hoping for something while we were sleeping or, you know, just hanging around in the in the room and um, at this point, no. We will go ahead and go through any footage that we took and, and see if we can find any EVPs or anything else through the video. Star and I did do a late night session um, in the middle of the family room here at the heart of the Inn at Castle Rock, so hopefully something comes of that. Uh, we'll be sure to post it. Anyways, thanks for being part of our journey, and uh, be well.